Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. I am excited because today we are praying for the mothers. We are praying for the wives. We are praying for the women. We are praying for us as women. Glory to God. We pray for many people. We pray for many things. We pray for our children. But today, God would have us pray for ourselves. Amen. So if you would just get somewhere quiet, focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, and share this video with at least two of your friends, two people that you know that could use a word from the Lord, that could use a prayer that would uplift and change the trajectory of their day, the trajectory of their lives, the trajectory of their homes. Amen. Pray with me as we go before the Lord in prayer right now. Holy Father, in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Son of the living God, we come before your throne right now. Father, you are the Ancient of Days, O Lord. Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and grace to help in this time of need. Father, we come first and foremost repenting of any sin, of any transgression, of any iniquity that we have committed, known and unknown, and we ask that by the blood of Jesus, we be made righteous, put in right standing with you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for your forgiveness, Lord. In Christ, we are now in a perfect relationship with you. How glorious, how glorious is your gift of salvation. Father, we pray according to Psalms that says, How are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they that say of our soul that there is no help for them in God. But thou, O Lord, are a shield for me. You are my glory and the lifter of my head. Father, you are our help. Lord God, you are our help. We come before you as wives and mothers in need of your help, Father. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are the God who sees us. Your name is El Rohi, the God who sees us. And you see every need that we have. And Father, because of your character that says that you are the God who sees us, and if you see us, we are confident that you are doing something about it. So Father, we thank you that you help us with every need that we have. You help us and you see every spiritual need. You see every emotional need. You see every financial need. You see every physical need. You see every business need. Every help we need, Jesus, you see it. Thank you, Lord God, that you see it. You even see the needs we don't even know that we have. Lord Jesus, your word says that the lilies of the field do not toil or spin, but you provide for their glory. Your word says that the birds do not sow, but they reap because the Father feeds them. And you go on to say, Lord Jesus, how much more is our Heavenly Father aware of what we need? You are aware, Lord God, and you provide. Thank you, Jesus, that you provide for us. You are aware and you provide. Oh God, we repent for being anxious. We repent for our lack of faith. We believe. We believe you are exactly who you say you are. And we believe you'll do exactly what you said you would do. How beautiful it is to be loved by you, Lord God. We are loved by you. How beautiful it is to be loved by you, the almighty God, the all-powerful God, the all-knowing God, the all-present God. How beautiful it is to be loved by you, Lord God. Father, in the abundance of your love, we ask that you send us help. We ask that you send us help in our minds and our thoughts. Help us to accomplish what you have called us to accomplish. Help us to achieve what you have called us to achieve. Help us to grow and go forward. 
Help us to advance, Father. Help us with our families. Help us for our sons and our daughters. Oh, Lord, help us with our husbands. Be a help to our husbands. Keep them, Lord, from being the enemy's prey. Keep them from being the enemy's prey. Keep them in the light of your wisdom, Father. Help us to pray and to intercede for our families at the level that is necessary for our success. Help us, O oh God, to overcome impossible obstacles. Help us, Lord God, to win impossible battles. Help us, O oh God, to triumph over impossible odds. For you are the making the impossible possible, God. Nothing, absolutely nothing is too hard for you. No one is too far gone that your arm can't come down and reach. You are the great and mighty God. There is no power you cannot overcome and put to shame. Jesus, when you rose from the dead, you rose with all power, all authority, with the keys of death, hell, and the grave in your hands. And your word says that nothing can ever separate us from your love. My Father, my Father, Abba, Abba, we ask that you would help us. We cry, Lord God, help me. Father, pull us out of every pit. Pull us out of every pit of darkness. Pull us out of every snare. Pull us out of every depression. Pull us out of every lie. Pull us out of every false identity. Pull us out of every trap. Dispel any darkness, any dissatisfaction the enemy would try to stir up, any animosity in the home, any strife, and any chaos, Father, dispel it in the name of Jesus. Father, we set the atmosphere in our homes with the joy of the Lord. The peace of God flows like a river continuously in and through our homes. And the spirit of the living God abides in our homes always and forever. Father, make our homes to testify of your goodness. Make our marriages be a reflection of Christ in the bride. Make our homes a reflection of the Father's house. Father, we ask for grace to keep our mouths shut when they need to be shut and for us to open them and speak what you would have us to speak. As wives and as mothers, Father, may we be gentle, nurturing, a safe landing place for our husbands and our children. Father, we reject the world's ways. And we align with your perfect will and your perfect order for our homes. Thank you, Father, for the grace for order. We thank you, Father, for grace for order in our homes, in our finances, and in our health, Father. Put us in order, Lord God, that we might be ready and we might be prepared for the thing that you are doing in us and through us and for the things that you have prepared for us. For your word says that eye has not seen nor ear has heard the things which you have prepared for those that love you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for making us ready. Thank you for preparing our homes. Thank you for filling us with your grace. And we receive your grace and we lay hold of it. We lay hold of your ever-abounding grace that makes all of this able, that makes all of this capable, that makes all of this possible. For your throne is a throne of grace. And we thank you for it, Father. We give you praise, honor, and glory, both now and forever. And forever. We will worship you forever. We will praise you forever. We will testify of your goodness forever. For thy throne, O God, is forever. And we give you praise for it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
amen and amen. Glory to God, saints. Thank you for praying with me. I ask that you would like, share, and subscribe. If you agree with this, please comment below and let us know how we can be praying for you. I also invite you to join us on Facebook. We have the Pray to Win Prayer Group, and we also have My Sister's Keeper, which is a community of Christian wives where we are coming together and where we are insisting on the prosperity of our marriages. The link is in the description. So I invite you and I encourage you to join us there as well. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.